people think they have it. But have y'all seen the Lion King? Yeah, there's a hornbill in the Lion King. So they come in a lot of different sizes. In the Lion King, you have Zazu. Zazu's a red-billed hornbill. He's about this big. The one we're going to meet is a little bit larger. Let's go ahead and meet Penny. She's the southern ground hornbill. And she is the largest species of hornbill in the entire world. So here she is, yes. Yeah, so a little bit bigger than Zazu. Now, there's over 50 different species of hornbill. They are native to Africa and Asia. Hi, Penny. Can you have a trip with Heather today? And this, again, is the largest one, the southern ground hornbill. Now, if she gets her name, the ground hornbill these days do spend a lot of time down on the ground where they'll be foraging for their food. Do you guys have any guesses what a bird like Penny might eat? Uh, uh, seeds? Seeds? You know what? If she found seeds that she can eat, she's not very picky. <laughs> yeah, they're not very picky eaters. Any other guesses? Uh, Fish? Could she eat fish? She could eat fish, yeah. So, um, southern ground hornbills are a predator. Most hornbills are pretty um, much, much more omnivorous, meaning they eat both meat and plants. These guys eat a lot more meat. So they are considered a predator in that natural environment. When it comes to hunting, they'll eat a variety of different food items. Again, they're not very picky. Like I said, if she came across seeds or berries that she could eat, yeah, she'd eat those.